Well, 2020 Toyota RAV4, it's got problems with the powered lift gate. We're gonna replace the lift supports. It's not too hard. Stick around, I'll show you how. The first thing, you're gonna to need to support the lift gate somewhere or another. It's not really a big deal how you do it. Just find some way to get this thing stuck up so it's not gonna fall on your head while you're working on it. There's a plastic cover underneath each of the two handles. Find something to pry with and pop them off. Make sure you do both sides. Underneath each of those handles, there's two 10 millimeter bolts that are gonna to have to come out for a total of four. Once you get those bolts out, the handles will just pop right down and out. The most intimidating part of the whole thing is pulling down the plastic liner, but it's not too big of a deal. Just get your fingers up underneath it, start pulling, and all the clips will come right out. It just takes a little bit of work and some patience. You don't have to take the entire thing down. Just get it down enough to where you can get your hands up in there to reach those plugs. There should be one for each side. Just disconnect both of them. Gently pry the grommets out and then slide the wires right out of the lift gate entirely. The lift supports have a locking retainer on each end that needs to be disengaged before it can be released from the socket. Now is probably a good time to make sure your broomstick's still in place or this thing's going to fall on your head when you take these things off. I like to release the clips on the new lift gate supports, just makes them a little bit easier to put on. Although technically you can shove them on without doing this, but it, you know, it just flows a little better when you do. And as you can see, I decided to change these out with another set of OEM lift supports. But, you know, you could change them out with a set of non-powered lift struts, and it's probably going to last longer. These only lasted four years, and I don't really suppose they're going to last much longer than that next time around as well. So, eh, it's up to you. A couple of the plastic panel clips on mine fell out when I was taking it apart. Just make sure yours are all in place before you start shoving it all back together. Once you get all the holes lined up, just start pushing and they'll snap right in. I figured now is as good a time as any to test it to make sure it works before we put the final pieces back on. There you go, not too bad. You know, takes a few minutes, whatever. It's not a big deal. Go get yours done. Uh, give me a thumbs up if it helps. We'll see you around.